So, this is the intro. What up? You're with Mutiny Frame and Body, the YouTube channel, the movie, the video game. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. I'm Nick. Cole. Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the premiere. We're going to go through with you today what we're working on. Shit we got going on around the shop. Um, kind of jumping into the middle of one build and then starting one fresh. Uh, we've got some pictures, TikTok, inf or TikTok videos, things like that, uh, that we've taken on the chassis before, and we might try and include those in. Uh, but today is introduction and day one of the 76 Eldorado for uh, Brock Edwards at Dream Garage. So, uh, well, I guess we'll just start walking around this thing, start getting everybody. Let's get into it. <laughs> Plans for the car. Uh, we're going four corner air ride, 20s or 22s, depending on what the wheel fitment tool says. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get it up on the lift and we're gonna start this teardown. This is our biggest factor right now. Torsion bar runs through this cross member here and then runs through the lower control arm up front there because that is your suspension. I mean, obviously you've got control arms and shocks yep. and then the CV axles up front, but uh, with this torsion bar, we're not gonna be able to move this thing the way that we want to. Yeah, yeah. so in order to, in order to be able to fit the wheel, we have to cycle the suspension. And it's gonna be much, much easier if this control or the control arms and spindle and everything move, move up and down freely. Now, once the car is bagged, I mean, we're not gonna have the torsion bars anyway, so we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna ice these and we're gonna cycle the suspension. That way, so we've got a wheel fitment tool that is gonna fit here. And once we've got that free moving, even though obviously, you know, we don't have a bag in place, it's still gonna give us enough movement to where we're able to pivot this and turn it and measure for a wheel. Again, you know, Nick said that 20s, we would really like to sneak a 22, you know, because big wheels are fucking cool, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So, uh, start getting some measurements and figure out where we need to cut these things and get them out. Obviously, safety. We don't need a 7,000 pound car fucking dropping down on us, but. I like, I like to feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the biggest thing, obviously. Yeah, so we'll, we'll throw the pipe jacks on and uh, we're gonna get the the blue axe out and we're gonna uh, have a shortcut here. Blue axe for you uh, folks at home who aren't too caught up on the uh, shop talk there is obviously a torch. This is my spot, I came early. Okay, we're safe. Come. Come. Move. Heavy ass wheels. <laughs> so while he's getting those out of the way, I can at least walk over, uh, give you guys a little look around. So obviously this is the shop or where the magic happens as they say on cribs. At the big PT Cruiser. Uh, a chassis that we, well I say we, I don't do shit, he's the one that does all the fab work, I just run my mouth. So this is a chassis that he's been working on for a club brother and also a local guy for us, uh, Shane Hancock. A, what year is that truck, Nick? 95. 95 OBS regular cab short bed, as you can see sitting in the corner over there. Um, three quarter chassis. 22 by nine up front and massive 24 by 15 in the rear. Um, really cool shit going on here. Uh, you know, four link, Watts link in the back. Uh, should have this thing going down the road pretty good. You know, just a short introduction to what we've got going on here. We're gonna do a build series on this chassis too. Um, you know, try and as stuff comes in, try to get it to where we're documenting these builds. Um, that way you guys are caught up on them. We're horrible about taking pictures and things like that. So we're really gonna try and get better with it. But uh, yeah, some cool stuff going on. And we've already got some uh, some other stuff lined up coming in. So should be pretty cool. I think Nick's got the 
torch out here. What safety mean? <sighs> Who knows? <laughs> I like. I've never cut a torsion bar out, so we go find out real quick how much uh, tension is on these. It's probably a lot, but that's fine. Well, well I mean, what's a lot? <laughs> Instead of cutting this torsion bar like I originally planned, real dumb idea. What I'm gonna do instead, we got a little keeper here that holds this key. That, that's got a ton of tension on it. So instead, so instead of releasing tension at the center of this bar, I'm just gonna cut this out and this will pop down real hard and make a real loud noise. But at the same time, it's gonna, it's gonna contain all of this torsion bar here. When I cut this torsion bar, nothing will come out to get me. Um, so it'll just sit and it'll rotate in that pocket and it should be safe and then I'll cut it in half. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put on my, my gloves and safety glasses so I can be safe, dorky and safe. Safety sucks. Yeah, safety's good. We're, uh, we're gonna get this thing rolling here and start to... Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Ow. Ah, ah, kind of gouge her out. Ow, god damn. Ah. Yep, yeah, right there she went. There's the tension, it's gone. Okay, see ya. All right, so I got that, I got that keeper out, and you can see the torsion key hanging here. So, so that, so there's nothing that can hurt you now. So, that there's no hole back here where you can pull them back this way and you can't shoot them back that way and from what i read you got to take that control arm off to get this torsion bar out and we're not fucking yeah yeah so no particular spot you need to pick Ow. oh oh yeah man a lot of goofy shit dropping off there that's it okay we are through on that one and the front. So yeah, it's just gonna take some convincing to get it out of there. Yeah. What do you, what do you think that orange stuff is over there? <laughs> Weird. Uh, ah! All right, so torsion bar is cut. Now all we gotta do is pull the halves out. So I'm just gonna. No, I'm just kidding. Don't you have any respect for yourself? But they. They come out okay, you just gotta kinda wiggle them out. So, with all this out of the way, taken out incorrectly, you know, <laughs> uh, all we got left to do is, we're, we're gonna go ahead and take that shock out because we went to sh uh, shove that wheel up and it was super hard, so, so we're gonna go ahead and take that shock out and uh, then we should have a pretty free pivot. And then we can take the wheel off and throw the pivot tool on there and we should be able to get an accurate measurement from there and then we can order wheels. Okay. So we're going to go and get this wheel off here. Um, that way we can go and get to the shock, get that shock off. Like he said earlier, both of us tried lifting up on this thing and I about shit his pants trying to get it up yeah. there. So uh, we'll get that wheel off, get the shock off, and then hopefully get this thing moving, see what we need to do and then start working on the other side. Oh man, I almost hit myself in the face. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll get that shock off. But that way you guys can kind of see what, I mean, obviously, I mean, it's front wheel drive. So, you know, the, the joke with this has always been big Honda because the way that we're going to do this, I think, I think we'll see. I mean, we got some, some math and geometry things of that sort to do that way we're not binding up that shaft any but you know I, we're either going to plate the top control arm and use that as our lower bag mount or build an airstrip for this thing and raise the tower up but that way you guys kind of know what we're doing with this thing get off <laughs> Oh, it's up against the fucking control arm. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. That was unnecessarily difficult. Hands However, we are free. 
Yep, yeah, ready to pivot. So I'm gonna throw, just for fun, throw the stock wheel back on and uh, get it airborne and show everybody what we're going for here. Forgot, we do have a sway bar here. I mean, that's full, the other side is full group with a tire on it and a torsion bar. So that's gonna keep big time tension on this here. Rolled her off, baby. Oh. Oh, look who it is. Old fucking Johnny Blue Ranch. Blue Axe again. Just make <laughs> sure you use your proper gloves and IPP. Eye protection. Yeah. Eye protection at all times. Now, whenever you go to cut these, they got uh, this one here in particular will have a little bit of a little bit of tension on it, but it's not gonna be enough to really get you. Yeah, nice execution. No, I'm gonna give that an eight. Ah. Oh, that's fucking hot as fuck. <laughs> ah. Man, I wore. Yeah, that went right down my fucking shirt. Ow. No, I'm good. Yeah, I just wore a bunch of real hot rubber <laughs> in the face. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing got me. It's fine. Except for the hot rubber. All right, so that's freed up. I'm just gotta get the other side and actually take the sway bar out. All right, okay. sway bar. Oh man. And now, we should be on a pivot. Yeah, yeah that's what we like. The lower control arms are still tight, so that's gonna put quite a bit of resistance on us. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bust this loose here so we can be a little bit more free, and then we'll be accurate. Just to simulate, you know, obviously air suspension, uh, at that point, you know, because it's hard to do whenever you don't have all 7,000 pounds of the car sitting on the ground too. So just to get this thing moving that way that we can get a good measurement on it. <sighs> oh yeah. There yeah, it they're freed up. Okay. And so now, yeah, just, we've got plenty of movement to where we can simulate this thing moving up and down. Whenever I cycle a suspension, I always make sure there's a pipe jack on the opposite side of the car or in the rear. So whenever I lift up on this, it's putting the weight down on that particular pipe jack. I'm just gonna give her a little bit. You ain't gotta tighten, you ain't gotta tighten her all the way down. I'm gonna come right back off. I'm gonna take this existing pipe jack from the front. And I'm gonna find a spot on the control arm and then just start lifting this thing up. There's usually a hole where you can hook the pipe jack in if you're using a lift. So after running the pipe jack, run, run the wheel up, uh, this here is the result that we got. We have copious amounts of fender clearance, at least on this wheel. We're gonna get the wheel fitment tool on. We're gonna come back, regroup, and get a combination together on what wheel and tire is actually gonna work the best for this car. So day one, video one, uh, we decided that after we've got a couple beers on us that we're going to get the rear end pivoted at this point to match the front. Um, it's 10, 45, 11 at night. We ain't got shit going on tomorrow. So I think we're going to get, uh, get the rear end moving that way that we can match what we've got going on up front. God, it's so sick. It looks good tucked up in there and we've got a lot of room too. So hopefully we can get you guys a close to finished product anyways, at least to simulate what we've got going on. So, yeah. so I, I, I've tried to a couple times to sneak the rear coils out of this. It's not a G body. 
it's not a G body, it's not a G body. On one of those, they got such a weak spring that you can literally grab them and pull tight enough to where you can squeeze that spring together and it'll it'll pull out. On this particular car, what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to just bust these shocks loose, get that rear end pulled down enough to where I can pull that coil out. And then we can just go straight back up. The rear end will tuck up in there like we want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust this loose. It was already busted loose. Oh. <laughs> And this is safe. <laughs> I'm gonna bring rear end up just enough to where I grab hammer punch. Knock those shocks out of there. Yep, I'm gonna knock the shocks out. Yep. Now we're pretty much free up as far as far as that aspect goes. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> now I'm gonna take pipe jack, lower this back down. Hopefully. One of these springs don't have a ridiculous amount of pressure on it and pop out and punch me straight in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she's drooping good. Yeah, which, you know, obviously with us having the shocks off and the springs out, we've still got our trailing arms attached to where this thing's not gonna fall out on us and, you know, kill us. Yeah. I ain't trying to die underneath no stupid Cadillac. No. So I have immediately had it with these dumbass coil springs. I'm a fabricator, not a mechanic. These coils are not going back in the car. Blue X, once again. Now what you want to do, you want to make sure that you're blowing all of your slag and what have you towards your bottles. <laughs> There she went, yeah! Jesus Christ. Yeah. A lot of... A lot of tension on that spring. Well, the thing is, it was, it was pulling it all up. Really? Yeah, Oh, dude. man, fucking spring's hot as fuck. <clears throat> well, yeah, warm. There we go. Jesus Christ. But, so, beer break. It's what fucking midnight probably yeah 1152 uh <laughs> we had to stop and take a break for a minute because uh guys this thing's fucking cold 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 cool party so yeah <laughs> spicy it's uh man it really really brought this car into perspective as to what this thing's gonna look like. And we're not, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We've got one more surprise for day fucking one. Yeah. Day fucking one of this build. And it is fucking killer. So, I'm excited. Uh, a lot of stuff that is playing to our advantage here on stuff that this car already had. So there are bump stops on this axle already that are in place, stops this thing from hitting the chassis right there. So what we're thinking is that once we get this thing down on the ground and figure out where we're at, if we need to shave a little bit off that bump stop to get this thing sitting level because the quarter in the rear has a shallower wheel well than this does up front. It doesn't look it, but whenever you get back. And, and, and I just brought this, this back wheel down. Right, and he just brought the wheel down a little bit. But if you get back and look, they're a little bit different. 
So we got a little bit of room to play and that may play towards our advantage too. So we'll see. Uh, getting very exciting, very exciting. Uh, him and I <laughs> probably sat and walked around this thing 20, 30 minutes just looking at it and seeing how different this looks compared to what this thing looks like stock. Yeah, now, you know, this here, obviously not full group. This is full group here. Uh, if you cut that in half, that's gonna be about your right height. So imagine the top of this tire about being right here. Still extravagant difference. Um, we're gonna set the car on the ground. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and or get this torsion bar out and get it to where the all four corners are pivoting. So at the end of the video, you'll see the full result. Um, you know, car on the ground, and then we could just excel and start getting to where it'll come up on its own power. So it's a definitely a definitely a lot further than i thought we were gonna get tonight <laughs> so stay uh stick with us here we're gonna cut this other torsion bar out and next time you guys see this thing it should be on the ground god you long-winded prick hot oh boy oh yeah there's steam rolling off it <laughs> There it went. Ow. <laughs> Hit me in the belly. <laughs> so, we have not brought this car down yet. Obviously, the bottle jacks are down out from underneath it. Uh, so, you guys are going to see this for the first time with us uh, on the ground. This is it. <laughs> Holy shit. That's it. So, I think for day one, this is probably a good stopping point for tonight, considering it's one o'clock and we're both filthy and fucking exhausted. But yeah, that's a lot of, lot of good progress for day one. So, I think that's it guys. We'll uh, we'll close up shop on this one and we'll catch you on the next one.